The Harbor School is committed to unlocking the best in all different types of learners with all different types of interests and abilities. Learning's a natural instinct. Achievement should be fun. So we've got one teacher for every seven students in the classroom and one teacher for every four students school-wide. When you have a very high teacher-to-student ratio, you can pitch learning at the pace and content that's appropriate for each child. So kids who are advanced are not bored. Kids who might struggle in a particular area aren't frustrated. Teachers will really get to know where the student's weaknesses and strengths are, and you really get to work with that student and really challenge them. And I know every student very well. Uh, I know their parents very well. We have a really tight community here. It feels like a big family. And it helps a lot because you get to know the students a lot better than if you were at a big school with one teacher to 26 students. I've been able to get to know each and every child throughout the whole school. Their names, how they work, and create really personalized learning. One of the most important tenets of our philosophy is that kids do better when they learn to deal with all different types of people. There are all different kinds of people in the world and in the future they will be meeting with all different kinds of people in the workplace. And so it's important as they go to school to learn to work in teams. I think one of the most important things that children take away from the Harbour School are uh, values of acceptance. Definitely we have kids from all over the world coming together and learning about different cultures. The Harbour School teaches and gives students a sense of community. Many classes have uh, reading programs where the grade fives will read to the grade threes or the grade threes will start reading to the grade ones. I've placed them onto uh, the computer for Edmodo for uh, interacting online so that their writing has an impact. When they write something, three, four other students are interacting with their writing. It makes their writing valuable, as opposed to writing in journal and only the teacher sees it. Now there is a real audience. We have a very strong emphasis on science because what we do think kids will need to know 20 years from now is how to ask a question answer a question and present their data, and that's science. I want the kids to be exposed to the technology that's used today. Everything from live streaming to tutorials to like a camera that's running 24 hours a day on the ocean floor. We also have a strong emphasis on history and social studies. All of the little bits of information that are coming into their world through the internet need to be interpreted and need to be put in historical perspective. As they become more aware of their place in time and space, they become very conscious of their roles and responsibilities as global citizens. What we found is that when you add together science, civic awareness, and social studies, what you end up with is a lot of real activists. Facts have become less important over time, and what kids really need to know is how to analyze those facts and how to problem solve. It's important for kids to actually do something rather than just read about it and answer questions on a test. We want them to be innovative, we want them to be perceptive, we want them to be integrated. So the students are given opportunities to go on the apps and to build simple programs. I want to eventually push them to a point where they're maybe creating a game or an interactive app on their own. Our students aren't just uh, memorizing facts, but they're, they're creating their own ideas and expressing them. I had students learn about the uh, cultural influences of the blues and how to improvise uh, with keyboards that they have plugged into their MacBook Pros. I'm able to do sculpture and painting and fine art skills, photography, new media, everything. We have a lot of field trips at the Harbor School, but they're all curriculum related. Some of our bigger field trips include the trip to China for the third grade. They've studied China for five weeks and then they go to China, make terracotta warriors, and then they see the terracotta warriors. We also have about 30 C courses, school extension activities. We don't call them after school programs because we believe that school and life should continue on, but that's 24 seven. And they cover anything from sports to the arts, to science, to music. We have a poetry club and a photography club. One of our most popular C courses is wrestling. When we talk about unlocking the best, it's important to recognize that that's a multi-dimensional model. It doesn't just mean that we're gonna move everybody forward in math. 
Everybody has different interests. We're talking more about an explosion than just a simple movement in one direction.